Like you're gonna do it anyway, though. There you go. See, look at you, big girl. I'm strong. You did it. With all the rain, we're not gonna be able to bring the truck all the way back. Cause I've been stuck here before, twice. Once we had to get a guy with a tractor to come out and pull us out, and the other time the guy with the backhoe pulled us out. We got a lot to do. I gotta sharpen the saw. I didn't sharpen it yesterday because I just put that chain on Monday in the afternoon. So I'm gonna hit it today with the with this sharpener and just get it boop 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 touch it up and then we're gonna move on. I'm looking up and I see I see heavy clouds. I feel a very cool breeze. It's actually quite comfortable. Normally it's so damn hot here. Well, the rain rolled in. It didn't rain that much. We got the last of the trees I brought with me yesterday in the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, moringa seeds in the ground and start cutting up some moringa sticks and get them going too. I'm probably going to run up to the forestry department later and pick up some ebony. There's a nursery in town that they have cypress. I'm going to pick up some cypress too. Solomon's temple was built primarily out of cedar and cypress. If it's good enough for God, I think it'll be good enough for us. Alright, this is a Spanish elm. And what we've done is we've got a layer of cardboard underneath. We cover the cardboard with grass. Then we're going to bring wood chips and bury this whole thing in wood chips. This is a silky oak. Now the silky oak, <clears throat> we planted this the same way. We planted the tree. After we planted the tree, we put a layer of cardboard over this. Then we put a layer of grass cuttings and then a layer of wood chips. Now this is a mahogany. Again, same process. Cardboard, grass cuttings, wood chips. Now we plant the cedar right next to this stream. Cedar likes to be feet wet, so we're getting it as close to this stream as possible. For every one of these trees we plant, we need some moringa. As part of my plan, I planted a whole bunch of this moringa here. We're going to take and turn this into plantable moringa sticks. There's two. And this one, I'm going to take and strip all the leaves and use them for mulch in a spot over there. Now this is the first triangle I planted. Right there is a silky oak. Up there is a mahogany. And right over here is the cedar. We're going to plant some of these moringa sticks around these. So for now, we've got one moringa stick. And there we have the mahogany. And we have a moringa stick next to that. And over here we have a cedar. We have a moringa stick next to that. We're going to come in here and put a bunch of seeds in the ground too. All right, we're going to go pick up the ebony now. Well, that's our first stop. Forestry done. We ended up getting 25 ebony and 25 yucca. Um, I looked at them and they're just interesting. They have cypress. These are really, really small, which is actually good for my purposes. We're gonna get, I'm only going to get five of these. Now I picked up five cypress. Considering how small these trees were, they're surprisingly expensive. Uh, I need to pick up Pretty Girl in 45 minutes. Every tree we plant, we have to put cardboard around it, then we put grass clippings, and then we put wood chips. And we're out of cardboard on the property. 
So what I did is, <clears throat> I needed to get some, and I said, uh, since I was stopping here, I just stopped to get it. Look at you. So hide it. You had a good day at school? How was swimming? You went swimming, right? I went swimming. You're going to water? Yeah, I'm going to water. Is it going to be good for Auntie? Uh -huh. You're going to behave? Yeah. Okay. Let's get his hair back to work in the lab. I'll be back soon. I'm back out here on the land and it looks like it hasn't rained since this morning which is a good sign means we're getting some work done it's going to be interesting we're going to have to get all the stuff from here all the way over here they have some work to do i have to go get them to have them get to work it's gratifying to see these smaller trees in place because when you're putting the trees in and they're 30 feet apart the main overstory trees are 30 feet apart. It just seems like it's ridiculously far. And 30 feet's a long way when you've got trees. But then you come in and you put in the other, the smaller, slower growing uh, understory trees. Now it fits. It looks right. And we only have two of the smaller understory trees planted. Tomorrow we're going to get a bunch more in the ground. We cleared all the way to the fence line. Now we're at the very back. There's still a lot to do. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but we are at least to the fence line. Tomorrow I'm really hoping to get the chipper. I'm really hoping they call me with the damn chipper so we can get to work with this stuff. I've got so much stuff that has to be chipped. And we have so much stuff that needs wood chips. We just have to hope they get their act together so we can get to work here. Got, still have a lot to do.